Now let us see the next chapter that is data handling. Now what is data handling? In your previous classes you are familiar with several kinds of data and you also collected you also know collection of data and tabulation of the data and put the data in the form of bar graphs. So you are familiar with this collection of data. tabulating it and put in the form of bar graphs now first what is the data the data means it is the information which is collected for any purpose the information collected is called the data now the collection recording and presentation the collection recording and presentation of any data helps us organize the experiences and draw the inferences from them so the collection of data and recording it and presentation of the data helps us the organize our experiences and draw inferences from them now you are already familiar with several kinds of data and this data you can observe through the newspapers magazines or television for example if you take the data a particular in a particular test the five students have got the marks out of 10 for example one student got 7 marks and the other student got 8 marks the third student got 6 marks the fourth student got 9 marks and the fifth student got 10 marks now this is also data collected from the students so this data represents that the marks of five students in a particular test out of 10 now let us take another data that is weekly absentees in a class now in this first you will take day wise so first we will take monday then tuesday then wednesday thursday friday then saturday here the first column appearance day in the second column absent is now in the monday so here one student figure represent one student so the first day monday there are two students absent in the class so we represent it by two student figures and Tuesday only one student is absent so we will show the absentees of Tuesday by only one student figure and Wednesday there are no students absent so that is why we do not draw any student figures for Wednesday and Thursday so three students are absent and Friday so here also two students are absent on this particular day and Saturday so it is the end of the week so there are most number of students are absent so almost five students absent in the Saturday so this represents the absentees of the students in a class during the week so from this 
data collected we can understand how many students are absent in a particular day throughout the week now let us see the next one collecting data how to collect the data now if a given collection of data may not give us the specific information related to the data for example if you take the absentees of the students day wise then here we don't know how many students are there in the class and how many are here we know only absentees but we don't know how many students are present in that particular day and what is the total number of students absent throughout the week also we don't know so for collecting any data first we should know whether it gives the specific information related to the data or not so for this we need to collect the data keeping that specific information in our mind now before collecting data before collecting any data we need to know what we use what would we use it for means so what is the use of the data we must know before collecting any data now if you collect the data for example the marks the performance of students in a particular subject or you may collect the data regarding the performance of any cricket team or you may collect the data for example the women literacy rate in a state or district or you may collect the data the number of children below the age of 15 years in a village so you can collect the data regarding the performance of students in a particular subject or you can collect the data the performance of any cricket team or any football team or you can collect the data the regarding the women literacy rate in a state or any district or it may be the number of children below the age of 15 years in a village so whatever you collect the data that information should reflect the that the data should reflect the specific information related to that data so keeping that specific information in our mind we should collect the data so means we should know the use of the given data before collecting it